You're watching a T-Man review. Hello everyone. Today I'm reviewing Transformers Generation 1 Wind Charger. Here he is as a car. A stylized car. Because look at these big giant wheels. And here's the underside. Where you can see basically everything. Anywho, fun fact, Wind Charger, not this particular Wind Charger, but Wind Charger was one of my first ever Transformers. He and Starscream. Here he is next to Reveal the Shield Wind Charger, who is an updated version, of course. He's significantly bigger than G1 Wind Charger. But they have a lot of similarities. And the red is really, really close, but G1 is more of a basic red, whereas Reveal the Shield is a more maroon type color. Anywho. And I don't have the new Combiner Wars Wind Charger, but I have Tailgate from Generations. This is his closest current day relative. Anywho, let's get to transformation. Wind Charger has a transformation so easy a child could do it. Basically, you grab back here, flip these forward, boom, his legs are done. Grab up here and down here, pry his arms out, and bam. He's a robot. Stand up. Like I said, he's a robot. <laughs> he has no weapons or anything. This is basically all you get. He doesn't really have much of a face. I guess you could pretend, pretend that's a mouth plate and a visor right there. If you look hard enough, you can see what they tried to pass off as a fist. Articulation, if you ever watch the show, you'll know that these are his knees and these down here are basically his boots. So when you're doing this to make him have knee articulation, because that's all he got in his legs, you're basically bending his foot back. <laughs> his arms do 360, and if you mess around with the transformation, you can make his arms go up a little bit, his shoulders up. You could do f jumping poses like, yay. Anyway, here he is next to Reveal the Shield, Wind Charger, and Robot Mode. As you can see, this guy has a ton more articulation. I normally don't have a hard time getting him to stand, but he doesn't want to stand. But you can see their similarities. They went with a car hood chest with this guy. And he has... A way more G1 cartoon accurate face. And an optional hand blaster. That folds out. And since I compared him earlier. Here he is with tailgate. And tailgate. Has more of a G1 accurate face. The chest is kind of similar to you with these, this design right there jutting out. But anywho, Wind Charge is what I would compare to nowadays as a Legion's class figure. He's something good to just carry around in a kid's pocket or have in the back of the car for, for a kid to play with, like I've mentioned with one of my other reviews. I like him. He's cool. Of course, he's not my go-to wind charger because I love articulation. But anyway, if you like this review, please subscribe, share, comment. And until next time, T-Man 978 <laughs> out. My tongue. I don't know what's wrong with it.